shift and look at the palatine bones. So those tan colored bones that form the back of the hard palate are L-shaped. And you can think of it, so there's they're L-shaped, left and right. And they make up the roof of the hard palate, the back of the hard palate, and then they with the horizontal plates. And then the plates that stick up are known as perpendicular plates. And those angle medially and posteriorly. So the tips of the perpendicular plate of the palatine bones actually make up the medial posterior corner of the orbit. So they're in the very, very back of the floor of the orbit, that back corner. And that's the left and the right. And then if we look at the underside, you can see how that perpendicular plate reaches up and it articulates with the sphenoid. So the perpendicular plate of the, of the palatine bones articulates with the sphenoid and it, the top of it rests in between the pteroid processes. And in the middle, between the perpendicular plates of the palatine bones, is the vomer, that thin rudder-shaped bone is the vomer. And you can see the yellow bone there that is not symmetrical down the midline of, ideally, down the midline, lining up with the intersection where the left and right maxilla meet is just above that. So just above the roof of the mouth is the vomer, that thin rudder-like bone. And it meets in the very back. It articulates with the vomer. It also articulates with the ethmoid, which we'll look at in a minute. But first, I want to back up and show you the palatines. Left and right palatine bones. All right, so here they are. L-shaped bones, you are looking at the anterior aspect of the left and right palatines. You can see how they angle posteriorly. And they've, you can also see the little nub at the very top. And that's what sits in the medial floor, that very back corner medial corner of the orbit. And as we talked about, the palatines make up the back of the hard palate. So the maxilla, you're looking at them anteriorly, the maxilla would sit in front of them. That's the medial wall. And then this is the lateral aspect. So the palatines are really thin, delicate bones, and they articulate with a lot. As we saw, they articulate with the sphenoid, they articulate with the vomer, they articulate with the ethmoid in the back of the orbits. So you can influence the palatines from a variety of angles now that you know where they are. And you can even, just as we're doing this, take a minute and track where your palatines are. So there's the roof of your mouth, and you can feel, if you tune into your maxilla, the roof of your mouth, and then feel behind the maxilla, you'll, you can feel where the horizontal plate of the palatines meets up there. And then, this is where it gets a little tricky, 
you can track the perpendicular plate. You can track the perpendicular plate by following that lateral aspect of the horizontal plate. Track it by going up, angle it medially, and angle it posteriorly. And you can feel these little L-shaped bones. Oh yeah, it's pretty fun when you actually resonate with them and they light up in response.